Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my 2015 beauty life just favorites. My favorite items and things of 2015. 2015 was a crazy year, thinking back to a week ago. Honestly, this time of New Year's isn't like very sentimental to me. I know to a lot of people it is. It's like a whole new birth of a new year, but honestly, this time of year is like honestly smack dab in the middle of like a student's year, you know what I mean? And I'm so like student minded that like this kind of new year isn't that big of a deal to me. I just think it's, I don't know, it's just kind of another day and like, yeah, it is a new year, but it doesn't feel like it to me, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to get like mushy because honestly, New Year's isn't that big of a deal for me. I just don't feel so like compelled and like a new birth when it comes to like a new year, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm going to quit rambling. Basically, 2015 was crazy. Moved from my hometown to my new town where I'm living. I started at a university. For those of you wondering, I am studying communication and sociology, and that is the first favorite of this year is all of my classes in communication and sociology. If you are at all interested in how people work and the different things that are messed up with our society and like all those sort of things, take a sociology class. It'll blow your mind. But anyways, I know why you guys are here and it's for the beauty favorites. So let's get on to the beauty favorites. So this first one I did a video on when it first released and it is one of my most viewed videos ever. I think it's close to 50,000 views right now. <laughs> anyways, this is the NYX Contour Kit. As you can tell, this baby is well loved. Haven't hit pan on any shades. I can tell I'm about to hit pan on this contour shade though. I love this thing so much. Now, I don't have any high-end contour palettes to compare it to, TBH, but I do have high-end, like, face products, like bronzers and contours that I can, and I honestly love this thing, and, like, I used to not use, really, the highlight shades, and I've been starting to use the highlight shade, especially this, like, vanilla color under my eyes, and it really does brighten. Like, it really works, and I don't know. I'm wearing the contour and the bronzer right now. I just... I love this thing so much. I think it's such an awesome affordable eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, I think it's such an awesome affordable option for a contour palette, and they do have, um, like refillables for all of these, so, um, you know, if you're really deep in complexion and you can use a few of these, but you, you know, these are going to be too light for you, then you could just change those out, you know what I mean? So, I think it's awesome. I love this thing. I've used it so often, and I honestly think it's one of the best products to come out in 2015. The next is Urban Decay Naked Skin. Now, okay, I originally bought this just because I was like, I got a sample of it, and I was like, oh, okay, I like it, and I honestly just needed some new cruelty-free foundation, and I was like, well, well, let's just go for it, and at first I didn't, I wasn't crazy about it, because it's not the best for oily skin, it makes my skin oily throughout the day, but now that I've gotten a chance to try some other cruelty-free foundations, like the Tarte Amazonian Clay, and the Hourglass Immaculate, and like, couple other ones and like the elf acne fighting foundation I've come to realize how amazing this foundation is you do have to set it with powder and I do use um, my D select setting spray to really prolong the wear and really like make my skin as matte as I can throughout the day but it is such a pretty foundation it literally looks like your skin like I've been trying out the Tarte Amazonian clay and like while I love it it looks like foundation on your skin this does not look like anything on your skin but it gives such a beautiful beautiful like medium buildable coverage. I love it so so much. So Urban Decay Naked Skin I have been loving. Now I did try this like halfway through the year but I mean come on I've tried this for like a few months and I love it. So Urban Decay Naked Skin I, I love you. Next I'm just gonna breeze through these real quick because you guys see these in every single video and it's it's just pointless. My NYX Set It and Don't Fret It powder, honestly, my favorite setting powder in the entire world. It's so thin, so loose, so silky smooth. Oh my god, I love it so much. I don't have to say anything because if you've seen any of my videos where I do my face makeup, this is in it. So, 
I love it. And I use the shade light medium, just for any of you guys wondering. I have used the translucent one, and it's just as good, but I just prefer because this adds a little bit of coverage as well. Um, yeah, love it so much. And then my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is so holy grail status, it's not even funny. I tried the all nighter setting spray, and I honestly was like, I Mm -mm. This is a placebo effect. It's fancy water. And then I tried the D Slick, and like my blush stays on, my bronzer stays on, my highlight stays on, my face doesn't get as oily. Oh my god, if you have oily skin, eat it. I've ranted about this forever though, so I'm gonna stop ranting about it. The next, I just have one brush because honestly, like I've tried a lot of these brushes and they're all fantastic, but I could make an entire video about my favorite brushes. If you guys want to see like a full face, like what my favorite brushes are, let me know. But Elf Complexion Brush, again, you guys have seen this in multiple favorites videos. You've seen me use this in a ton of tutorials. I think this is just the most like per perfect, perfect perfect brush. You can use this for all of her setting powder, which you guys have seen in my like November, December favorites. I put this in for that. I have put it in previously for a like bronzer and blush brush, and I just think it's so pretty. It's so soft. I love it so much, and it's like $3. So e.l.f. Complexion Brush. I have just been loving this thing. I actually have two in my collection because I just love them so much. I think it's just such a great like brush. For everything, maybe not eyeshadow, <laughs> but for everything, I love it so, so much. The next thing that is I discovered, I think this year, maybe the tail end of last year, but like I've been using all this year, is my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Mine is nasty, so uh, ignore that. But I have been loving this so much, and I was really considering getting the Beauty Blender, and I got this, and like, I really just didn't want to spend $20 on a makeup sponge. I was just kind of lazy, so I just kept getting these, and then I saw like Manny MUA switch from using the Beauty Blender to this, and I saw Jaclyn Hill switch from the Beauty Blender to this, and like, all of these like big gurus are finally like switching to this one, and I, mm, it's just so good. I love it so much. I don't know if I'll ever try the Beauty Blender just because I love this thing so so much. It's like I get the two packs from Ulta or they sell them at Kohl's and I think they sell them at like Rite Aid but I get the two pack for 10 bucks. So affordable. If you get it at Ulta you can also use a 350 coupon so then it drops it to two for 750. I love them so much. They are a godsend. Oh my gosh. Real, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Some of my, these are two of like my, my favorite, like favorite, like ride or die, like favorites of this year. The first is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This is, it's between this and my Lorac Pro 1, but those are my two, these are my two favorite palettes in my entire palette collection. And I have like a ton up here and this whole drawer is full of palettes. I love this palette more than life. The packaging is beautiful. I love Cap on D like as a person. Um, you guys always say that I look like her and I'm just so flattered every time. I'm just like, oh, I just wish I had as many tattoos as her. <laughs> love Cap on D. I, she is reformulating all her entire line to be vegan, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and this eyeshadow palette is perfect. Oh my gosh. It is, it's beautiful. You have neutrals, warms, cools, it's so good, so pigmented, so buttery. This is one of the only eyeshadow palettes, one of like a few eyeshadow palettes that I have where the white is actually really, really pigmented, which is hard to find in an eyeshadow palette, personally. But I just think this is such a good palette. Like if you want to invest in a neutral eyeshadow palette, don't get a Naked, don't get a Smashbox palette, don't get a Tarte palette, get the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. It is so good. I could go on and on forever. For sure, one of the best things ever that came out this year. Love it so much. You're my boo, babe. Okay, and then this year was like the year of the liquid lipstick. Like, oh my god, I don't even have to go into that for you guys to understand how crazy of a trend liquid lipsticks have been. And I have been all about 
it. Now I personally haven't tried a lot of like different brands, but the brands that I have tried and really love, I've just been investing over and over and over in what I know I like. And those have definitely been Kat Von D's, but even more than Kat Von D's are Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick. I have five of them in my collection. I am wearing Weirdo right now. I love these so much. First of all, can we talk about the packaging? Like, it's just the cutest, like, most, I don't know, it's just cute and bubbly and pink and stars and, oh, I actually have six. I dropped one. So I have six in my collection. I love them so much. They have such an awesome color range. I love that they have, like, everyday wearable shades. They have, like, reds, they have pinks, they have purples, they have nudes. They have, like, androgyny, which is, like, the most perfect color ever. And then they have, like, blue, light blue, green, like, they just, a black. I love I love it. On top of like the color selection, on top of the packaging, on top of me loving Jeffree Star, like I love Jeffree Star, the formula is amazing. I love it so much. It's so comfortable on your lips. I don't find them to be drying really at all and I just, I love them more than anything. So I have tried quite a few different liquid lipsticks and so far the Jeffree Star ones win it for formula and these are the ones, even though I have similar colors in Kat Von D and in ColourPop and while I still still do love Kat Von D and ColourPop ones, I just find myself reaching for these so much more often. I don't know exactly why but I just reach for these way more than any other lipstick like or liquid lipstick. So. Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I can't wait for Jeffree Star Cosmetics in 2016. I know he's coming out with like face highlighters and eyeshadows and I am all about that life. And their line will be 100% vegan, which is amazing. And then this is probably, probably the number one holy grail item that I have found this year that has legit changed my beauty life. And this is Angels on Bare Skin from Lush. This but this is empty, completely empty. Um, this little thing lasted me about six months and it was only $12. I love Angels on Bare Skin so much. It is the only, like, I've tried the Clarisonic, I've tried Mario Badescu, I've tried a bunch of different skincare things and this is the only thing where I have legitimately been able to tell a difference in my skin, which is so amazing. And I ran out of it probably three three weeks ago and I've noticed like those problems coming back I have so many more like fine bumps on my skin and like raised pores and like I just this balances my skin so much I cannot even describe how much I love Angels on Bare Skin and how much it is just like changed my skin for the better. Like I said, it's the only thing that I've actually been able to tell a tangible difference in my skin when I use it. And when I stopped using it, I noticed a bad change. So I need to re-up on it, but every time I get paid, they're sold out, of course. It's just, it's just, ah, uh, it's so good. So good. So Angels on Bare, bare Skin, probably my, like, of everything, my favorite product that I have found in 2015. So, yeah. And then, of course, one of my absolute favorite things to happen in 2015 was Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek was the first brand, first big brand, to reach out to me and really support me. And <laughs> when I first got a email from them, I remember I woke up and I just kind of, you know, you just kind of roll over and flip to your phone and I opened my phone and there was like, oh, you haven't, you've got mail. But I opened it and it said, hello from Makeup Geek and like, I shit my pants, you guys. I was so like, what? And then um, I opened it and like it said like, hey Katie, we've noticed you. You'd love to like send you our eyeshadows, blah, 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 blah. I was so excited. I called Jake and my dad and was crying, like literal tears down my face. And like, it was funny because like my dad doesn't know, my dad knows like Maybelline and CoverGirl, but like my dad doesn't know like all this, but I was like, dad, they're such a big brand. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like crying. He's like, that's great, Katie. I'm like, you don't understand. I just want to say thank you to Makeup Geek again, and they have been a huge favorite of this year, obviously, because their products are amazing. I I've been using their eyeshadows nonstop. You guys know if you've watched a current tutorial, that's like all I use, which I will use other shadows, I promise. I've been like my 
like proudest achievement is getting noticed by Makeup Geek and it makes me so excited and I'm also really excited with where my channel is going. I know I'm I'm still under 10k but like that doesn't matter because I love being a small channel because I can legitimately like talk to my subscribers. I love snapchatting you guys. I try to reply to every single comment like it's so nice like legitimately having like subby buddies that I can like kind of hang out with via social media and I think it's so 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 cool I love that I started this channel I sto totally started as just like oh I should I should do that people ask about how I do my makeup a lot so I should just do that and it has become so much more than that if you're thinking about starting up a channel just do it it gets way easier the more that you make it and like oh, it's just I love it and I love you guys. Sorry, I did get mushy. I got mushy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mushy. So that is all for like beauty favorites. Like, yeah, beauty favorites. Now I just want to talk about a couple lifestyle favorites because I just like talking to you guys and you guys getting to know me and then you guys can respond and I can get to know you. So the first like thing that I discovered in 2015 that I now love more than anything is brand new. If you guys listen to brand new, I don't even have to say anything because they're amazing. But for the longest time, I was like, no, I don't like brand new because they reminded me of Law Dispute and I really, really don't like Law Dispute. They just don't, I don't know, I just don't vibe with them. But for the longest time, they reminded me of Law Dispute and I just put them in that category with Law Dispute and I was just like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. When I still worked at Hot Topic, my manager would always put it on and I was like, okay, alright, alright. I really like Brand New and now I'm obsessed with Brand New. Jake and I are actually going to see Brand New in Vancouver in July, June. I'm freaking out but that was like the best band that I have discovered in 2015. I'm so, so incredibly late on that train but I'm so glad that I eventually got on that train. And then my other like 2015 favorite is my tattoo. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen it, but I'm going to show you it because the picture I have on my on my Instagram is when it was just line work and now it's line work and shading, but I got it probably 6 months or so ago. I'll show you guys it. Okay, so it is a My Chemical Romance tattoo. It says, go and try, you'll never break me, and it has the bass drum from the Black Parade, and then it just has, like, wilted daisies, because, you know, they're broken up, so they're dead, and <laughs> I don't know, I just love flowers. One of my really, really close friends from high school did it, and I love the way that he did it. I love that it looks like, like, a hand-sketched piece of art. I love how it fits my leg. It hurt like nobody's business, but this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite things to happen in 2015 was me getting my first tattoo. And yes, it hurt really, really bad, like extremely <laughs> bad, but it was worth it. And if you guys know anything about me, you know that I am obsessed with My Chemical Romance. They're my absolute favorite band of all time. I mean, obviously I got a leg tattoo devoted to them and I'm planning on getting another one. They just mean so much to me. I've loved them since I was 14 when I first saw the Helena music video. I could make an entire video about my love for My Chemical Romance. If you guys want it, request it. <laughs> Anyways, they mean so much to me and really it was when I started working at Hot Topic again that I got like really back into them and I don't know, this was just, it was a really fun experience and it was just one of my best experiences of 2015. And just to share another one of my favorite experiences of 2015 was when I saw The Story So Far live in Seattle. Oh my god. First I saw them with terror and with four years strong and then the story so far headline and like I'm not into hardcore so terror was amazing live like I love watching hardcore live because it's one of the like most intense things you will ever experience but like the story so far was so amazing I I mean again if you know anything about me you know I'm obsessed with them my old background had a painting devoted to them this painting that you guys have seen in a lot of my videos, um, that is a Story So Far song. Like, I love the Story So Far so much. But back in, oh god, I don't even, I don't even remember. I think it was the beginning of the summer. I saw them in Seattle and it was mind-blowing. Like, so, so, so mind-blowing. It was 
like they opened with quicksand and like the crowd just went like ridiculously crazy it was almost too crazy at first like I got a little anxiety and like Jake and I like split up and we were just like I was just being tossed around like a rag doll but once I like kind of got my footing into like on the floor it was the one of the most fun concerts I've ever been to in my entire life and I've been to a lot of concerts especially within the past couple of years and it was just it was so good they played all of my favorite songs their stage presence was amazing they sounded amazing I crowd surfed like 10 times it was just so fun and it was awesome because I was in Seattle which isn't my hometown and so I didn't really know anybody so I didn't really care if anybody thought anything of me you know what I mean so I could just kind of like let loose and just have fun and just go crazy to one of my favorite bands and like it was so much fun like I'm sure you guys have had those experiences if you see somebody or like saw your favorite band or whatever and you just get to like just wholeheartedly enjoy it with your entire self it was so 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 amazing so getting my first tattoo was awesome in 2015 the story so far was amazing in 2015 moving to this new school and starting school and starting the degree that I really really love um, was amazing if you guys didn't know I did get my AA at a community college and so now when I'm at my university all I do is just stuff I'm interested in just stuff that's for my degree so it's been it's been really fun I had some awesome times this year and I'm stoked for this the rest of this year in my head also an amazing beauty year my channel really grew my collection really grew but also shrank because I went cruelty free totally forgot to talk about that this video has becoming a rant <laughs> sorry this is the most unorganized video of life sorry but that was another one of my favorites is going cruelty free it has been really really hard because there's so many intricacies with being cruelty free and like so many like well do you buy from brands that like own you know other companies or do you buy from like brands whose parent companies test on animals or do you buy from brands that blah 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 blah, blah like so many intricacies of it and it was really really intimidating but I just want to shout out all the ladies that I have met through the um beauty bunny group on Facebook you guys have helped me so much and like you guys have helped me realize that like it's okay to be cruelty free in my way nobody's perfect and one of my favorite sayings ever is don't let perfection be the enemy of good don't let me trying to do good by being by purchasing cruelty free items don't let me not being perfect at it be the enemy of me trying to do good and so that's been something that I've just been living by especially with going cruelty free it's definitely definitely been really hard you know I had to give up a lot of products that I really love but honestly it's worth it to me because I don't believe you know products should be tested on animals and at the end of the day I don't know I really like it and going vegetarian that was really fun I, I love being a vegetarian and I've honestly like learned how to cook a lot more and I don't know I just I just really this is like a self-reflective video this is weird before I go on anymore because this is getting so rambly and so I'm just like on a tangent now about like cruelty free and vegetarian blah 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 I think going into next year I'm going to start incorporating some vegan options both into my diet and trying more cruelty free and vegan indie brands um so I want to just slowly start interpreting or you know incorporating that into my life I don't know if I'll ever go completely vegan um but I mean don't let perfection be the enemy of good I just want to I just want to experiment more and I really want to just like try things like I want to try vegan cheese what the heck does vegan cheese taste like you know and I just want to that's probably one of my biggest goals for 2016 is to really expand into that world of cruelty free and vegan and those getting into the like, like those really all natural wholesome indie brands you know what I mean so that's probably what you guys are gonna be seeing more in my videos and yeah I really hope to hit 10k within the next couple months hopefully when I hit 10k I really 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 want to do a giveaway so I'm hoping to do that so those are just a couple goals that I have for myself
This video is a million and five years long. It got so ranty. It is so unorganized. Typical video of mine. So thank you guys so much for like sitting through it because I don't even know what I have been talking about for the last 20 minutes. And then makeup. Makeup was just like a small part of it and then I was just like, LIFE! Anyways guys, I'm going to end this video before I go completely bananas and just start rambling about nothing, which I've already been doing. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for sticking with me through 2016 or through 2015. I hope you guys stick with me through 2016 and beyond. I love you all so much. Please comment down below with your next, if you have a New Year's resolution, let me know or if you just have like maybe a couple goals that you would like to achieve and then tell me a few of your favorite like either products or experiences that happened in your life in this past year and I would love to read them. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.